Hey guys, Matt here, also known as HR Puff and stuff. Today I'll be bringing you a Gears of War 3 gameplay, and I'll be telling you guys how much hate, how much I hate my principal if you haven't seen from the title. So a little bit about the gameplay. Uh, I went seven kills and twelve deaths. Um, note this is my first multiplayer match on Gears of War 3, so I think I did pretty decent. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. So let's get started. So. If you guys didn't notice from the title, I will be going on a rant on how much I hate my principal. So let's get started. Uh, a little background. Last year, I'm in middle school by the way. Last year, I uh, had the best principal ever. We'll say his name's Mr. B for safety purposes, I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, his name was Mr. B, and uh, he was the best principal ever. He got our school back in line. He cared for our school. He was overall a great principal. He took care of our school and all its students and teachers. So, yeah, he was a great teacher overall. Principal overall. So, yeah, um, and unfortunately, at the end of last year, he had to leave the school for medical purposes and retire. Um, so, yeah, we were all sad. Um, the students were sad. And... Um, when the end of the year came, we were all talking about who would be our next principal. So finally, start of the next school year, we get a call from the National Junior Honor Society, yes, I'm in that, and um, saying that our first meeting would be meeting our new principal. So we were all excited, we were like, oh yeah, we get to meet our new principal. So that the day of the first meeting, uh, we're all sitting in the cafeteria, uh, talking, and our new principal comes in. As soon as I see him, I was like, oh shit, are you kidding me? He was all smiles, freaking joker in disguise, I'm telling you. I was like, oh my gosh. He walked in, he was like, someone give me the microphone. Very rude. He was, oh my god, the worst first impression ever. So, he starts talking about his childhood for about half the meeting. And uh, all the teachers are trying to tell him to speed it up, but no. He's just, oh, okay, let me finish, let me finish. So, yeah, he's the worst principal ever, we're thinking. So, as soon as he's done talking about his childhood, he starts telling us about how he went to the United States when he was 14 years old. Yeah. He's telling us about, oh, I didn't know Spanish. I mean, I didn't know English. All I knew was Spanish. Um, yeah, I had to work very hard every day I was in the library. Yeah, bullshit. Um, so, yeah, it was a very, very boring meeting, I'd have to say. So, we were all mad. We were like, Mr. Bushy, come back. No. But, seeing as though he had medical problems, he couldn't come back. And I found out from some of my friends a little bit about what Mr. the new principal, we'll name him Mr. A, what Mr. A has been doing. So, alright, let's start off first with the, let's call it the cafeteria teacher incident. So, what happened was one day, it, there was a um, teacher meeting in the library. So, they needed to take a group picture since it was the beginning of the year. And one of my teachers, will name her Mr., I mean Mrs., Mrs. W. She, um, was, she's, a lot of her relatives had been um, sick recently basically and she just got a call from uh, one of her relatives saying that someone was very sick in her family so being as though the uh, Mr. A um, new principal is a very effed up principal he decides while Miss W was crying because she got the bad news to take a picture of her 
while she was crying because she was crying and he was laughing about it now if if you think that that's cool get off this video because that is very mean so yeah um all the teachers were like what is he doing and being as though Miss W was very nice she just went along with it even though she was crying and yeah he just continued for some stupid reason alright so basically that was very effed up so next incident the new principal has mood swings yes he is a bipolar or something okay so basically I found out from one of my friends, his mom's a teacher, well, that's not what I found out, but his mom's a teacher, basically, and his, he was overhearing a conversation between his mom and the new principal, and when, and he, when my friend saw them walking into a, um, one of the rooms, Mr., Mr., uh, A, the new principal, was very, being very nice to her, but the tea, but the uh, door was still open, so my friend could still hear what was going on. And uh, so, as soon as they walked in, Mr. A was screaming. He was like, "Oh, why did you do that?" He was like freaking, yelling at the top of his lungs, just listing all of the things like they did wrong. Uh, so, yeah, um, and also, I found out from another person that, um, when they went to the office to get something, he was very nice to he or she, and then once all the, everyone was gone, he started yelling at them, and then half, like, half a second later, he would all of a sudden start being nice. Now, that's wrong. It's, be nice. What do you mean? No half and half. You're not joking. So yeah, that's another effed up moment. Uh, so another thing that happened. Let me see. Um, oh, this one's probably the worst of all. So, apparently, the new principal wants to beautify our school. So, he decides to make walking on the grass banned when there's over 700 kids in our school and the hallways are like a freaking mouse hole or something and they're like they're crammed up all the time it's like New York City with all the cars always traffic jams and crap so yeah um, he decides to make it banned that you can't walk on the grass so, when, when he decides to tell us this, he's walking on the grass the whole time. Yeah, he's definitely setting a good example. So, right after that, basically the whole school starts walking into their classrooms on the grass. That's how much they, everyone hates him. So, another thing that happened. Uh, so, as part... To go along with this beautification process, they wanted to plant trees, right? So, um, there was a lack of funding, and Mr. A just needed this beautiful, beautiful beautification process to happen. So, what does he do? He fires the librarian just to get enough funds to do this. He fires the librarian. Another person without a job, are you kidding me? That's just wrong. It's it's really not cool. The the new principal is just really mean. Any more things I find out, I will definitely tell you guys. If you guys want to hear more school stories or any more rants, just leave a comment. If anyone's watching this, hopefully. I'm not just risking my time. But still, if no one's watching this, I know I will, well, if one person is watching this, I'll continue, I'll continue my videos, but, even though, oh, whatever, uh, so yeah, I'll leave you guys to watch the rest of my video, um,
yeah, there's going to be a really long picture at the very end of this, um, uh, a very long picture at the end of the video. That's my, um, thumbnail since YouTube wants to be a douchebag and not want to let the YouTubers that don't have partnerships, which is like 90% of the commentators on YouTube, pick their own thumbnails. So, basically, the picture at the end of the video is my thumbnail. Uh, so yeah, leave a comment, um, just, yeah, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Uh, so, yeah, uh, see ya. Have a nice day, peoples.